This is Amy Chapman for 12 for Puppy, and this is Pilaf. And welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup Season 2, our premiere episode. Now, unlike last season, we're going to go ahead and show you how we prepare our house for that brand new bundle of joy. Now, we're really excited to share our new adventures with our brand new puppy with you, so let's get started. Now, it's very important to us to have a designated potty area for our brand new puppy. So she doesn't have all her vaccines yet, so it's important for us to keep her in a contained area where she can't pick up anything that's going to be a communicable disease. Ricky decided she wanted to help in her own way. While we were cleaning up, we decided to let her have a little bit of playtime because, well, it's kind of cute. We have a huge poplar tree in our backyard that just drops leaves everywhere on our patio. So it's important for us to get this all cleaned up because a baby puppy, they're going to try to put anything in their mouths. And when you're trying to teach potty training behavior, you don't want them picking anything up. You want them focused on going potty. The next step is for us to go through the house and pick up any of the non-guide dog approved toys. Thank you, good girl. Now this includes anything that has a squeaker, balls of any kind, and anything that has stuffing. Now while we were cleaning up, Ricky and Eli thought it was playtime because, well, we were picking up the toys and we enticed them to play a little bit. But eventually, all the toys got put away and the last thing we did was put all the approved toys into a bin that's low to the ground for puppy access. Another important thing that we need to do is make sure there's no debris on the floor. Now having two dogs and a bunch of cats, we get all kinds of dog hair and cat hair and yeah, Eli and Ricky don't eat this stuff, but a baby puppy might. So we need to make sure the floor is totally swept because we never know what a baby puppy may want to put in its mouth. And one of the last things I like to do is wash all of our dog bedding. Once again, the puppy doesn't have all of its vaccines. Now I know our guys are healthy, but you never know what they might have tracked in. So we clean all the bedding and then place it back down on the floor. So now what everybody's been waiting for, our puppy arrival. This year we did something totally different that we've never done before. We got our puppy on stage at the Guide Dogs for the Blind annual holiday luncheon. Every year Guide Dogs for the Blind holds an annual holiday luncheon to raise funds for their program. And each year a few puppy raisers get to receive their puppies on stage. And this year we were so excited to be one of those puppy raisers. Now Andy's with the Mid Peninsula Puppy Guides and the leaders are Robin Levy, William Belfer, Marty Dahl and Lester Chameleon. And this is a female yellow lab. And actually, uh, Kurt is the stud dog. I remember Kurt was raised down in Santa Barbara, my hometown. And, and Charity is the mom. This is Pilaf. <laughs> All right. And here's the kid down right down here. Nice photo. the puppy presentation was over, we all sat on the stage and had all the visitors that were at the luncheon come up and say hi and pet our puppy. Now little Pilaf, she seemed pretty tired and she slept through the whole thing. At the end of the day, we brought home a 15 pound sleepy souvenir. So as you can see, little Pilaf here is incredibly cuddly. So make sure you continue tuning in to find out if she has the qualities of what it takes to become a guide dog. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. So say bye bye Pilaf, say bye bye.